All right, looks like we are live. Gonna jump right into it here, not waste any time. Right now we're looking at the Concept D3 Easel Pro. As you can see here we have on the desk the Concept D3 Easel Pro. Um, let me jump over here so we can switch some stuff over, get rocking here. There is not working right now. There we go. All right, we're moving. So this is the Concept D3 Easel Pro. Um, this is my first look at the laptop as well as checking out some of the pen capabilities. So I'm going to spin it around here so it can be kind of like we're both looking at this thing together. Bump up the brightness here a little bit. You get some brightness there. Um, and unfortunately, because of the, like the lighting, uh, the brightness is going to be the most amazing. Kind of my lighting's overshadowing it, so in the future live streams we'll work on that a little bit. Um, but if you have any questions about the Concept D3 Easel Pro, not Pro, Concept D3 Easel, this is the video to ask them, whether in the comment section or on the live right now. I am stoked to be here with you guys. Um, just be a part of your day, your journey, on whatever you're working on, whatever you're going through. This is the place to be. Um, I'm try and jump back to my other clip here. I set up some transitions on my keypad. And I'm not sure if it's too far away or what's going on, um, but let me see if I can get this figured out. Sorry about the delay here. I'm gonna have to go at this manually. So just come down here and click this button. There we go. And then we click back right there. Uh, there we go. And then we'll just maybe we'll transition between the two if we can do this. So. Anyway, working through this, trying to figure out a new system, make it more, make it faster, more responsive, and my little keypad isn't working. That's so disappointing. So we're gonna have to go this manually. Uh, bear with me, and um, we'll roll with it. But the Acer Concept D3 Easel um, is a laptop that has gone through a few iterations over the years. So basically, it started out um, on the Concept D9, um, and it had these big fat hinges on the side. It was this massive computer. I think it weighed about 14 pounds. Um, I read it on my channel and I just, one of the biggest things that frustrated me was how, how huge and how just massive this computer was. And it could be a really cool creator workstation. And so when you think about that, having it sit on your desk, you know, it, it, it worked, but it was not an on the go laptop by any stretch of the imagination. This however, is a fantastic transition to a fully on the go creator workstation. Let me fill this up so you can see. So great for Photoshop, which would be, you know, uh, a digital artist, photo editors, uh, photo manipulators. So kind of like tweaking photos and making them, you know, just stand out more, doing airbrushing, stuff like that, or Photoshopping, I guess you wouldn't airbrush, but you're using the brushes in Photoshop. Um, and so it's fully articulating. We can go all the way up that way or bring it around and go all the way this way, drop it down flat. There's a lot of different ways to use the Acer Concept D3. And the coolest part is, of course, the pen capabilities. The pen is actually mounted right here inside of the computer so you don't have to worry about losing your pen and actually when you put it in there it charges your pen automatically so the sd card slot on this side of the computer and we have hdmi plus display port mini display port so there's a lot of great features on this laptop that make it the perfect on the go creator laptop and like i said we're going to test out the pen capabilities here in just a minute um, but i'm going to see if i can get back to my other camera it's not working that's so frustrating I don't know why my remote isn't working. Well, you're seeing some technical difficulties in the works right here, right now. This laptop scored a 650 on the Puget Systems benchmark score. So this puts this laptop uh, around the high end of most laptops I've reviewed on my channel. So uh, the mid range, the high end of the mid range. So this would beat out the um, HP Spectre X360, be a better score than that. Um, it would beat out even something like the HP Omen, it gets a better score than the HP Omen. So this is a great laptop. It's definitely a uh, performance for what it, for that GTX 1650 Max-Q, which is kind of a lower tier um, graphics processing unit. It does it very well. So without further ado, let's jump in and start kind of testing the pen out here a little bit. Let me come over here and switch this over so you can see the above camera. There we go. All right, so we have a thumbnail here. I'm gonna stand up. And we have pretty solid touch capabilities. There we go. Make sure this is looking good. All right, cool. So go over here. Let's grab the brush. I'm gonna set up a adjustment layer. There. See if we can do a little bit of masking. Go black. Good. 
Let's see here. Okay. Now we're on the fly right now, of course. And I just got to get my layers to switch and do another X. There we go. All right, now my layers to switch. So we can do a zoom in with my fingers, which is really cool. Pull it over. Now that's looking. And then the touch sensitivity is really nice. And I'm not sure how how close that is. And if it's not like super close, forgive me. In the future, I'm going to work on uh, just making these a little bit better and better. Um, but as we zoom in there, you can see one thing that I really like about this pen is the touch sensitivity is really, really good. So as you can see, it's very, very light touch right there. And it just, it just kind of just, you can just tap it and you can see it, it really reacts super well. And then if you dig into it a little more, you get a nice wide stroke, which is just awesome. So move over here. So let's say we're, you know, masking out this computer for one of my thumbnails. You can just come in doing some tighter stuff and then do like a big long stroke. So the pen capability is really good. I, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 4,096 pressure sensitivities. This has the uh, Wacom technology built into it. Um, so the screen is uh, EMR um, compa uh, equipped, which is really awesome because the touch sensitivity is that of a w of your you know Intuos tablet that you would have sitting on top of your desk. Um, so you get that technology put right into your screen. That's probably one of the biggest benefits of getting the Concept D3 easel over just another generic laptop that's a two-in-one laptop with a pen. This one is built for creators. It is Pantone color validated, and so you have color accuracy, you have good performance, and you have really great touch uh, touch capabilities with the pen. Um, so now as you like lean the pen over a little bit, you can see it doesn't really, you're here, but the pen isn't touching, so once the pen touches, then you can get it. Um, pen straight down, like I said, really, really good. I love how you can kind of lightly tap it and then really get into it for a good broad stroke or even like a good medium stroke where you can go light to hard. So it just, it has as much of a feel as using a, a brush or a pencil as you can get. Let's go switch up our brush here so we can get a different brush. Let's get more of this messy brush. Pull this away. So here's like a good messy brush. So you can see we kind of get these more like jagged edges. We pull through. So really love the touch sensitivity here of this laptop. Um, you do have a webcam, so if you do need to do virtual meetings, you're good to go there. Good ventilation. It runs cool in Photoshop. It's a little bit warmer in apps such as like Premiere Pro um, or DaVinci Resolve. Um, so if you're just going to be a digital artist working on projects of that nature, working in Photoshop, working in Illustrator. This laptop's gonna run cool, it's gonna run quiet. So one thing that Acer prides themselves on is their low decibels. So basically your computer plugged in in silent mode will run below 40 decibels really no matter what. Um, and it still performs well at that rate, which is really nice. So overall, like Acer has done a really great job creating a computer that was built for creators. You know, as a gamer, you usually have headphones in so the computer gets loud. It's not really the biggest deal in the world. But as a designer, um, if you're, you know, working in a classroom, if you're working in an office space, you really don't want to be, you know, blaring your fans and making a bunch of noise. So Acer really took care of that. The anodized aluminum um, is treated with, in such a way that this is not going to like stain over time. I know it's a white finish. A lot of people are concerned that you know over over time, whether you're you know a woman, you're wearing makeup, and you're you know you as you're designing, you're not realizing you're touching your face, and then maybe you put your hands on the keyboard deck. It's not going to stain. You'll be able to wipe that off, and it'll stay clean. Um, perhaps you're snacking. I tend to snack sometimes um, at, when I was in school as I was working, and so you know I'd eat something, and maybe I'd touch my keys or whatever. Or touch the keyboard deck and that can be wiped off actually I heard when I was at CES last year one of the reps actually took a permanent marker and wrote on the wrote all over the aluminum and then they took you know a, a light cleaning solution and was able to wipe off the permanent marker which is pretty crazy now he said like he doesn't recommend testing that and there's no guarantees that that's going to continue to happen and work uh, over time he said but it was pretty crazy how resilient this anodized aluminum finish was um, so great laptop from Acer here. First look, some of the pen capabilities. Um, it can hold a four hour charge off of 30 minutes of ins inserting this into the keyboard deck. I'm gonna drop that in there real quick. So put that in there. 
good to go, charges it. Um, but then also the charge can run, I think, uh, eight hours off of a longer charge from there. So it's really great. You can work all day on a pen. Uh, if you go you know, for a bathroom break or go get a fresh cup of coffee, just throw it into the deck and get a recharge just so in case so you don't run out and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to end this stream now. Super glad you all joined me. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. The full review is coming out in the next couple of days here. Um, and then also, if you're curious about the pricing of this model, you can head down in the description below and click that link. If you do use it to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, and that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you guys here in the next video.